Hey guys, welcome to Ask Uni Kenya. Today we are having an interview with my colleague Mr. Socrates to learn more about our services. We welcome you to the show. Thank you. Mr. Socrates, welcome to the show. We are happy to have you. Kindly. Thank you so much to kindly introduce yourself and tell us more about yourself. Okay, thank you. My name is Socrates. Uh, um, I work here at Ask Uni as a brand ambassador as well as the head of corporate communication. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Socrates. We are happy to have you in our show today. You would like us to ask you some few questions related to Ask Uni Kenya and their programs. Okay, can you at least tell us what Ask Uni is all about and what are the some of the activities it carries out? Okay. Thank you, uh, Suad. Ask Uni Kenya is basically an acronym for Ask University. So Ask Uni Kenya is a <clears throat> platform that helps students to identify academic opportunities abroad. Uh, so Ask Uni is a global uh, brand. Uh, we are in Kenya, we are in Mali, we are in Somali, we are in a few countries, Ghana, we are in Ghana as well. Uh, so we have uh, various offices within uh, the African continent. So basically, we help students to uh, identify universities abroad that they want to join. We help them to apply for those universities that they have, you know, uh, identified. We also help with uh, visa, uh, visa processing. We help with the dormitory or accommodation arrangements, as well as uh, flight management for those students who are successful in their applications to study abroad. Yeah. Thank you for your explanation. You have already mentioned some few countries that are screen operates in. Apart from those, are there other African countries and international countries that are screen operates? Uh, yes, why they are, because if you look at Ascuni and its, its history, uh, it's a global brand in the sense that uh, the global office of Ascuni is at, uh, in Istanbul, Turkey. That's where the head office is at. But we have other sub continental franchises around the world like in uh, Africa alone we have Kenya as the you know the big uh, the, the, the real big uh, office in, in, in this part of the world we have one in Mali we have one in Ghana we have we are setting one in Somalia as well as uh, other East African countries we hope to go to Uganda as well and uh, Rwanda so that we make as CUNY, the biggest educational consulting platform in this part of the world, yeah. Thank you for your explanation. What we would like to ask you is that, what are the some of the requirements that are required for the students to have in order for them to apply scholarship or a university with Ask CUNY Kenya? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> now, uh, requirements vary from country to country. But I'll just speak about Ask Uni Kenya, the Kenyan office. Uh, for you to apply uh, for a uh, higher education abroad through Ask Uni, the minimum or the basic requirement is uh, at least you should have attended a high school. That, uh, that means that you should have uh, done an exam called Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education as a basic minimum requirement. And of course, based on the kind of course or program that you want, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the grades vary. But uh, as of today, as, as much as you have a C stand, what they call a C plane, you are, we are able to help you identify the best course abroad and uh, other mechanisms that come with it. But then uh, you do need that uh, particular certificate, the KCC one. You also need, uh, at the point of application, you need to have applied for a, Kenyan, a valid Kenyan passport. You also need to have two copies of your uh, ID, uh, identification document. You also need two uh, uh, copies of your, pa uh, your uh, passport size photo. And then you also need recommendation letters, either from your former school, or from your, uh, you know, local leadership or parent to indeed endorse your desire to to go and study abroad. Now, once you bring, you mail us those particular documents, our consultants here at the Nairobi office will look at them, and once you qualify for any of our universities abroad, we'll invite you to the office to give you guidelines on how to proceed from there. Yeah. 
thank you for your explanation we highly appreciate can you tell us something about the scholarship opportunities that atkuni offers yes yes this is a very interesting uh, uh bit so what because a lot of students are very bright they are very uh they have a lot of potential academically but you see that they do not come from backgrounds that are able to you know help them fund their education both locally and abroad so as as CUNY Kenya as a model we do talk one on one with the student we get to know the program that they want to study and then we last with the university especially in Turkey because uh, given that our office is there the global office we have a catalog of almost all the Turkish universities both you know private as well as public here yeah. so we liaise with those universities and uh, you know we compare notes if it's a public university will you get a full scholarship or a half a scholarship in the sense that you'll pay for your accommodation but they'll pay for you your tuition fee or you'll get partial scholarship we are able to advise you and then the, the scholarship opportunities are there it depends with how brilliant because they are merit based how brilliant you are and what aspect of the scholarship can you can you afford if you can't afford at all we'll help you get a full scholarship but promise us that you can take care of you know your traveling expenses the agency fee as well then we'll do the rest for you yeah so that means that for the university fee or for the tuition fee it's totally catered for oh. especially for public universities in a country like Turkey uh, we are always in constant liaison with them so we do tell them that this student needs you know a uh, full scholarship because they are bright but they cannot afford uh, so the university advises us best on the course that the student wants to pursue yes Okay thank you for your explanation we highly appreciate from the explanation that you have given us we can really see that as Queenie Kenya it's an international recognized organization both in Africa or around the globe so what do you think that it's the key cause factor that have contributed to success of its reputation I I think basically the simplest answer to that is the kind of testimonies that uh students have offered once they use as CUNY to go outside of the country either in, you know uh Turkey or Cyprus or any other place where we are the students are always giving us referrals the students are always you know proud and happy of the services that we give them because our services are A to Z US is just to cooperate with us so i think we've grown as a brand especially in Kenya but also in the continent because of the testimonials that our previous students who have gone have continued to give us and refer their friends and families to us so i think it's customer success and satisfaction as well yeah. okay thank you very much for your explanation okay what i would like to ask you is that does a school hold any educational affairs wow that's an interesting one because fairly recently we had a very big education affair in uh, the Republic of Mali we had one which was a mini one in Nairobi we had one in Somalia and as well and uh, I think two in West Africa so in that sense every year uh, as CUNY global office in Instagram Turkey uh, makes it their endeavor to visit African countries and offer these academic opportunities uh, so we have one mega one coming in Nairobi the first quarter of 2024 and i want to make an invitation to all students who wants to or desire to study abroad not to miss that particular fair because we are inviting more than 30 universities to come and showcase their products uh, their services and you know their campuses so of course for more information let them contact us but yes we do academic fairs yeah. okay we look forward to get into that affair and we welcome you for that okay can you tell us what are the other services that Askuni offer apart from university placements thank you very much aswad uh in as much as educational consulting is you know 
the biggest uh, service we do offer as the SCUNY Kenya brand. But sometimes we assist students to fast track certain processes like uh, visa application and processing. We do assist because we are, uh, because of our reputation, we are in co connected with a lot of embassies within within the country. We also assist in air ticketing uh, for uh, our students who have difficulties purchasing their tickets. We do help them in air ticketing. We do flight management as well, in the sense that if you leave Kenya under the Ascuni umbrella, we are able to monitor your journey uh, using our systems. We are also able to arrange for you airport transfer services in Instabutaki upon arrival as well as Cyprus. So we offer that particular uh, support that is not educational related. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let me allow me to ask you this question. From what you have said, we can see that a screen is dedicated to providing exceptional education programs. Can you at least tell us at which level, be it undergraduate, graduate, or postgraduate, and the universities that you have partnered with, what kind of discipline and programs do they offer? Thank you very much. Uh, the good news is up to fairly recently, we have been able to give have services across the three levels of education in the sense that we do offer uh, consulting in professional programs, undergraduate, masters, as well as PhD programs. Most uh, universities that are in our database offer uh, graduate programs as well as undergraduate programs. But in the sense that if somebody wants uh, to do a, prof a professional course, that is not graduate related, we are able to advise them as well. So it's from professional courses, short courses, all the way to uh, doctoral uh, programs. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mr. Socrates. Allow me to ask you this. After the studies, let's say you have sponsored a student, you have taken them to the university and they have come to the point of completion, they are done with their course. Do they offer the internship and the work Help, do they help in the work placement or internship? Wow, that's a very uh, good and useful question. So I, I was having a conversation with one of the director uh, directors of in, the international office at Askuni. She was in uh, Kenya, the, I think, the last two weeks. And she told me a very interesting thing in the sense that students who study in Turkish universities can actually apply for work within the campus, uh, you know, departments, you, you can work while you study in the sense that you can have some little money coming in your way as you proceed with your graduate program or undergraduate program. So yes, we have uh, different study models in uh, those universities that can offer you a, a work-related experience. And we are very excited that our partners have come up with such a, a model for our students. Okay, thank you, Mr. Socrates. So finally, what's your message to the students who are willing to study abroad, but still, they don't know there is a right channel. They don't know there is an office called Askuni who work, that works for them, that helps them get into the, uh, to the university of their dreams. But what kind of message do you have for such students in order for them to get the right channel? Thank you very much. Uh, we, we, I think Ask Uni Kenya has come at the best time for people who are really yearning for quality education around the world. Uh, with Ask Uni, you can visit different uh, countries, get world class education, as well as get other cultures, become a citizen of the world through Ask Uni Kenya. Uh, many people do not know how to identify these universities, and sometimes they are conned because, you know, they get some money to be consulted for, but they don't get uh, the right way. <clears throat> As CUNY being a global office presents these students with an opportunity to uh, uh, achieve their dreams of going outside the country to study. So I uh, will visit all our social media pages because we are very active online. <clears throat> uh, check out our office numbers, make phone calls. But if you are in Nairobi, Kenya, uh, make it a point that you come to the office. We have quite a number of experienced educational consultants who are able to, you know, assist you. 
So make it a deliberate endeavor for you to come. If it's your parent who wanna come, if it's you yourself or your friends, come over so that we educate you on how to get academic opportunities abroad and also scholarship options. That's why we are having our global, uh, our Kenyan office here in Nairobi. Thank you, Mr. Socrat. That one marks the end of our show today. Thank you for your time, guys, and thank you for watching. We hope to see you more students in our offices, and we would like to welcome you more students coming to our office for the next time. Thank you. Thank you.